Early this summer when Gene Taylor announced he'd be leaving us for the University of Iowa was an incredible challenge for NDSU. Gene left us by most measures as one of the most successful athletic directors in NCAA mid-major history. When you talk about big shoes to fill, his departure defined that term. The task for the search and screen committee really was pretty straightforward. It's not like they had to find somebody who walks on water, although I'd have considered that a bonus if they did. Uh, but what the committee of faculty, athletic, and other university staff, as well as student athletes accomplished was just a notch short of that. The committee brought us a group of finalists from in and outside of NDSU who represent some of the best college sports leadership in the nation. My hat's off to the screening committee, chaired by Dr. Jane Shu, who I'll add just a few moments ago was named the interim dean of our College of Business. Not bad for a microbiologist. But when it came down to the difficult decision of naming our next AD, I believe we found someone with the credentials that are impressive, if not impeccable. As importantly, though, we found someone who fits our athletic program and how we do things at North Dakota State University. Our student athletes academically outperform any definition of their peers up to and including national comparisons. And our program has an exceptional record of NCAA rules and policy compliance. Our coaches and athletic staff are some of the best in the business, but also exemplars of principled, ethical college sports leadership. They produce winners off and on the fields, tracks, courses, mats, and courts they play. And we win. In fact, we win far more than any other athletic program in our state or even our region. We are one of the most winning overall athletic programs in the NCAA Division I. In short, we win, but we win the right way. We win the Bison way. With Matt Larson, I know we found the fit we are looking for. His professional credentials are broad and exceptional, and his references, including the president of Stony Brook University, speak to a man who is well respected, not just for his work, but how he does his work. And that his first reaction was to ask if he could bring his wife and children here today says to me he's the perfect fit for what we proudly call the Bison family. Will you please join me in welcoming our new athletic director, Matt Larson. <laughs> President Bashani, I thank you so much for those kind words. My family and I are extremely honored and, and privileged to be here today. Uh, the last few days have been very emotional for us uh, as, as one chapter in our life ends, but a new and very exciting one begins. Uh, before any formal remarks, I'm smart enough to know that today would not be possible if it wasn't for all the important people that have had a huge impact on both my life and career. So if you bear with me, I'm going to just make sure I express some gratitude to, to all those folks. Uh, first, President Bashani. Thanks for the opportunity and trust in you to lead this fine athletics program. I appreciate the hospitality that everybody has extended to my wife and my family and I during the entire process. You've made us feel comfortable, you've made us feel at home, and for that I'm extremely grateful. But I look forward to working closely with you in building the great tradition and success that is Bison Athletics. Dr. Jane Shu, as President mentioned earlier, the chair of the search committee. From our first conversation till my wife and I left campus yes, uh, last Tuesday, the process was extremely professional and first class, and, and I really appreciate and thank you for that. Thanks to you, the committee, and the rest of the people that we, wet, that we met with, we left Fargo more excited about this opportunity than when we arrived. Gene Taylor. I've had the opportunity to get to know Gene over the course, last year, of, the course of the last year and a half, and I think we would all agree that he is a first class individual. Gene was one of the first people who reached out to me and congratulated me on this opportunity after President Bashani's announcement. And ultimately, his, his farewell press conference was why I applied for this position. A place that can evoke such sincere emotion is a place that I want to be and must be pretty special. Gene, I thank you for all you've done for NDSU. And hopefully, as President Bashani said, I think he has some big shoes to fill, but I will certainly try my best. Oops, pardon me. <clears throat> Stony Brook. I am uh, eternally grateful to Stony Brook for giving me my start in college athletics. Uh, at the end of the day, they took a chance on a biology major with zero athletic experience, so for that I am, I am eternally grateful. 
When you're at the same place for 22 years, you can't help but forge great relationships. Thank you to all my colleagues and friends on Long Island. A lot of them are watching today. That challenged me every day to be great. I will forever value the friendships and memories at Stony Brook. All right, this is the tough part. <clears throat> a large part of who I am today is because of my mother, father, and my sisters. I know they're watching today, so I want to thank them for their guidance, love, and support throughout my life. Without them, today would not be possible. My family. <clears throat> Thank you, that's exactly what I needed. <clears throat> As President Brashani said, it was very important to have my wife and my family with, here with me today. They are my life. I am forever grateful for their love, support, and countless sacrifices <clears throat> they have made for my career. I love you guys. Whew, okay. <clears throat> Many people asked me when I was out here, though, why NDSU? And as I told the search committee, and my wife will, will certainly attest to, I am extremely picky. And I have a long list of selective criteria for my next career move, all of which were non-negotiable. Academic strength and mission. As I said to the folks when I met here, you can't fake good academics, and NDSU certainly has that. And as the AD, I need to believe in the product. Secondly, a president with great vision for the university and the athletic program. An athletic department which I could build upon a tradition of success. A community that my wife and I could raise our family. And lastly, but probably the most important, a place that has quality people. I, we, my family, found all that and more at NDSU. So for us, it was an easy decision. To the greater, Far greater Fargo, Moorhead, and NDS community, my family and I can't wait to become a part of the community. We will spend the next few days touring the city and neighborhoods to see all that the area has to offer. I look forward to building strong relationships with all the areas of the university. Division I Athletics is a university initiative, so I will need all your assistance to continue to move the program forward. I told President Brashani yesterday when, when he so graciously met us at the airport, the outreach from the community, fans, student athletes, staff, welcoming my family to the community has just been overwhelming, and overwhelming in a good way. Uh, it's been very exciting for us, and, and I appreciate it, and I look forward to meeting everybody once I transition here next month. To the athletic staff and coaches, you are a large part of the reason of, of all the great success that NDSU has experienced in the last number of years. I want to thank you for all your hard work, your time, your energy, and the count countless sacrifices that you make and your family makes on behalf of the institution. I look forward to working side by side with each and every one of you as we build on an already strong foundation. Finally, and most importantly, the talented and bright student athletes here at NDSU. My first interaction with the student athletes was with Emma Kusick and Christian Dudzik as they were part of the search committee. I don't think the university could have picked two better representatives to serve on a committee. When I asked them what they were looking for in the next AD, they responded with someone who is visible, someone who is accessible, and most importantly, somebody that cares about them beyond their on-field, on-court, on-track accomplishments. I look forward to meeting each and every one of you in the near future and building long-lasting relationships that will extend beyond your time at NDSU. One thing I will guarantee, I will work hard every day to deliver on promises made when you came to NDSU. Academically, we will ensure that you achieve your goals and that you graduate from this exceptional institution. Athletically, that you will have the ability to reach your full potential and annually compete for conference championships and NCAA appearances. And most importantly, to prepare you for life beyond NDSU to be successful in wherever your personal and professional life may take you. In closing, and this sums up why my family and I are here today, I was texting with President Brashani just yesterday, and he closed with, welcome home, my friend. <coughs> my response to him today, and to all of you on behalf of my family is, we are glad to be home. Go Bison.
If not, I think we'll open it up to any questions that you folks may have. What was the one defining thing that you saw in your visit here to say this is the right move for me, athletically wise? Yeah, absolutely. To me, it, it all starts and ends with the quality of the people that are here. And from the first time I stepped foot on campus to the interactions I had at every stage of the game, it's about people, it's about relationships, and, and it's about fit. You know, I told folks at the open forum that I just feel like I fit here. I feel like my family can fit here. And for me, that's the most important thing. What do you see as the biggest challenge from this job moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest challenge is you guys have had unbelievable success. You know, over the course of the last five years, we were in President Bashani's office this morning, and he showed me his wall of, of fame with all the athletics memorabilia and all the successes and accolades in just the last five years. So, you know, certainly we want to continue that. And so I see that as being able to retain good coaches, continue to be able to allow them to recruit the student athletes that are going to represent the university, but also be able to compete competitively on the field and the court and the track. So I see that as the biggest challenge, being able to keep the family together. In recent years, how aware of NDSU have become? Obviously, on the national landscape, NDSU's imprint has grown. Mm -hmm. uh, just from the perspective of these, what have you seen and noticed uh, and learned about this school? Well, I think athletics is always a great vehicle to tell the university story. And, you know, that's when I first had a, heard about North Dakota State, it was through the athletics program. And I think that's what's so great about college athletics. And, you know, the things that you all have been able to accomplish out here is, is unbelievable. And so for my family to be able to be a part of that, uh, you know, is something that we're really excited about. Were you looking, Matt, after 20 plus years at one spot, were you looking? You know, I wasn't, you know, I mean, I'm fortunate to be at a, at a great place. I'm in a great institution, top 40 public research institution. We're doing some great thing. We're building facilities. We're opening up a, a brand new basketball facility this fall. Stony Brook is an unbelievable place. It's been my home for more than half of my life. And, and so, no, but as I said, I mean, I'm very selective with, with, with where my next job would be. And, and NDSU just fit every single thing. And, and so for me, it was a, it was a can't miss opportunity. And, and as I said, you know, getting to know Gene and, and how highly he thinks about this place and how hard it was for him to leave, you know, to me, that makes it a pretty special place to be a part of. He, you know, he just said, you know, good luck, congratulations. And, uh, you know, I said, I have pretty big shoes to fill. And I think he said, ah, my feet aren't that big. So, um, but, you know, Gene said, anything I can do to help, and I'm always here, just I'm a phone call away. So I, I appreciate that. Cultures. Let them do their jobs. You know, at the end of the day, I think if you hire good people, you give them the resources to be successful, let them do their jobs and support them. You know, as I told the administrative staff when we met, our job is to service our student athletes and our coaches, to allow them to do their jobs, to recruit, to recruit the, the right student athletes. And so I'm not an expert in any of the sports that, that we have here. Our coaches are experts. So I'm going to support them and let them do their jobs. You going to hire or fire anybody in your career, and how, how are you going to deal with that now? That's a new level. Yeah, there. unfortunately, uh, that I've had I've had to do that, and you know that's you know the tough part sometimes about college athletics. You know, sometimes you have to make decisions, and you know that's what's best for the department, what's best for the university, what's best for the program and your student athletes. So, you know, unfortunately, that's not something I think anybody likes to do, but that's certainly a part of the process. So it's you know those are those are decisions that have to be made sometimes. How much do you think, Matt, coming from a, a similar school, a land grant, a mid-major, helps you to come in to this job? I think it helps a lot. You know, a lot, of the, a lot of the connections that I have across the country within the NCAA have been because of the type of institution that I've been at. And understanding the challenges of, of, of you know, being a large state institution sometimes. And so um, I think that helps a lot as opposed to coming from a, maybe a, a smaller school or a private school or something like that. So I think that certainly helps. Yeah, no, I, I think at the end of the day, I was very fortunate at Stony Brook to have a lot of experience. Uh, but again, I think similar to the, the, the question earlier, you know, I, I think, you know, allow your administrators to do their job. Um, you know, certainly I think if you articulate a clear vision of where you want to go and set the expectations, um, then let people do their jobs. And I don't see that any different from an administrative standpoint, but you know, early on, I'm going to want to get up to speed, and, and so I'll be meeting with a lot of our folks just to see how things work here. And, uh, you know, I think there's always ways to tweak and do things a little bit better, and that's what great organizations do. So, you know, we'll continue to take a look at all that stuff. 
Where do you see NDSU's future with everything changing in Division One, especially in football? Where do you map out anything? Have you looked at that yet? I have, and, and you know, as I told the folks when I was here on campus, I think this is probably, in the 22 years I've been in college athletics, this is probably the most uncertain time, especially at the Division One level. And, you know, as the athletic director, my job is to work with President Brashani to make sure whatever the future of Division One, FBS, whatever level of football there are, that North Dakota State is positioned well, regardless of the outcome. And, and so her, he and I will, will certainly keep a close eye on that and make sure that we're positioning ourselves properly.